sometimes when you are working with data, it might not be in the spreadsheet the way that you would like for it to be in order to make certain calculations. For example, with our writing scores here in this data set, we have some general demographic information that is repeated for each student. And then we also have scores that are going across by quarter. In order to do certain calculations, we actually want to have the quarter in its own column and we want to have the scores in their own column while making sure that the scores that were taken are still related to that student. So this is what we have. And we want to keep our demographics the same. And we would like for the quarter to be in its own column and the writing score to be in its own column. In order to do this, we can use the flatten formula in Google Sheets. So let's take a look at how to do that. So this spreadsheet has the information for my writing scores. What I'm going to do is go ahead and copy the headers for this first set of information here. So I'll copy this and in a new sheet, I'll go ahead and paste that in. And what I would like to do is I would like to have the quarter show up here. And I would like to have my writing score show up here. So I'll go ahead and put those in for my headers and I'll bold those to be consistent with my other information. And now what I need to do is bring in the data from the writing scores tab so that from columns A through E will be repeating each time that we add a new score. I'll give myself some room here. And in cell A2, it, this is the place where I'm going to put the formula in that will do that for us. So I'm going to type in equals, and I'm going to type in something called an array formula. And an array formula will grab all of the data within a range and do a calculation for us. So I'll type in, start typing an array formula. And then what I'm going to do is I need to go ahead and flatten the data, but then I'm going to have to split the data afterwards. So I'm going to type in the, the formula split. And then I'm going to type in flatten. And now I'll start putting in the information that I want. So with flatten, what I'm going to do is back in my writing scores, I need it to flatten and keep the information in columns A, B, C, D, and E. So the way that I will do that is in this spreadsheet with the writing scores, I will come up to put my cursor into writing scores in A2 there. And I would like for it to grab all of the data in column A. So if I scroll down and look at where my data set ends, in this particular data set, I have up to, column, uh, to row 304. So I will say for A2 to A304. And then I'm going to combine that together, uh, kind of like a concat by using an ampersand. And what I need to put in here is something called a delimiter. This is where when we get to the data and it starts to split our data, it will look for this delimiter and split it for us across the cells. So I'm going to type in uh, quotes here. And I need to find a delimiter that is not something that is in my data set. And so I like to use emojis. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this happy face emoji here. You can choose whatever emoji you would like. Uh, I'll just go ahead and use that one out of convenience. So I'll close my quotes and I'll press the ampersand again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my next column of data. So my next column of data will be the writing scores in column B here. So I'll come up to the top, uh, B2, and we'll go to B304. And then we just use the same thing, the, the ampersand, quotes, put my emoji in, close it. So once I have this started, I need to go from through columns C, D, and E as well. What I will do is just come into here and highlight this section. I'm going to copy that and then I'll paste it and I'll change my, instead of having to type everything, now I just change my range from B to C. Then I'll paste one more time and change that to D to D. Paste that one more time and change that to F. Change that, sorry, to E to E. And then now I have to get my quarter scores in. So for the quarter scores, what I need to do is select the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 instead of the, the column. So I'll just go ahead and paste that in again. And instead of selecting the whole column, what I'm going to do is select just row one in the data. So I'm going to choose from F 
1 through i1. So I'll change my range here. f1 to i1. And the last thing that I need to get is the data that all of these scores. So all of these scores are from f2 down to i304. So I'll go ahead and paste in that information that I copied again. And I'll change this instead of b2, I'll change that to f2 to i304. And at the end of my formula, I do not need this information anymore. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. I'll put in a, uh, I'll go ahead and close that with the parentheses. And then what I need to do is let the split formula know where to split it. So it's going to be looking for that happy face again. So I put in in double quotes, get the happy face, double quotes again. And then I'll go ahead and close that and close my array formula. And then when I press return, then it will now bring in my data. And you can see that we have the same student being repeated for the number of times that we had assessment. So we have quarter one, two, three, four, quarter one, two, three, four, and their respective scores coming in. So now that you have this data set in this order, you can do the calculations that you need to do.